All right, here's my little quick review of the Max Micron single headed uh, Persia, 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 I'm gonna call it a Persia um, i3 to clone. Um, I'll go over the real good first. The real good, ordering it, it's fairly cheap. Um, their site listed at 280. I've seen it and I actually got it at uh, 260 through uh, 3dprinteronline.com or something, I don't remember. I'll uh, add it in the video and give you a link. The price isn't terrible. The shipping was incredibly fast. Um, I ordered it one day, it shipped out a day or two later, and literally I had it within eight days of ordering it. Um, that's, it, it that's the fastest I've ever gotten anything from China. Um, the box was beat up, but it is well packed. Um, I did an unpacking video. I'll uh, link to that and show you how it was unpacking. Um, I was pretty impressed with all that. I was originally pretty impressed with their service. Uh, when I first started building it, the stupidest little questions I had, and a couple of them were, were pretty stupid once I thought about it. Um, every time I emailed them, I had a response, usually within a couple hours. Uh, the longest I think I ever waited was like a day, and that was on a weekend, so I'm assuming, you know, they, they were off or whatever but it, literally I think it, the average was like two hours I could write an email go do something and come back and I'd have an answer they, they were extremely quick about responding to emails at first and I'll go into that later um, the thing prints really really well Move over here a little bit with the camera and get a, another view of it um, it prints really well they pretty much include everything you need um, building it, assembly, is a little confusing at first. They just give you a bunch of pictures of the whole thing. Um, there's the, these huge um, JPEGs and PDFs uh, that are like, they're just incredibly big. And you got to zoom in on them and they're kind of annoying. But they do actually, if you have any mechanical inclination at all, they do make it so you can assemble the thing pretty reasonably. Um, there's a few spots you're like scratching your head. Uh, there's a few spots they list the wrong screw, like they'll tell you to get an M510 when you really need an M512, something like that. But again, almost every time I wrote them, I had an answer within, you know, an hour or two. Um, the only real big issue I had was right here um, with the motherboard. They had the fan wired in the picture wrong. Um, I emailed them. They're like, oh, really? They checked it out. They said, you're absolutely right. Within an hour after they told me I was right, they emailed me back another picture with it correct. It was already too late. I'd already fixed it, but it was cool that they did that. Um, you know, they responded to most most problems rather quickly and easily. Um, they were pretty good about it until later, and I'll get into that later. The unit is all aluminum frame. Here, let's get a front view. Well, it's printing. Um, now, when I say all aluminum frame, the actual main structure is aluminum. There is a mess of printed plastic parts. Um, comes with the LCD screen, a little LCD screen. Everything's on there. That's a good. That's a nice bonus. I don't think I'd want one without it these days. Um, power supplies. The motherboard is pre-programmed. It runs on the Marlin, I believe, 1.0. Um, I did try to update it. Didn't like the update, nothing ran, couldn't get it to run. Reinstalled the Marlin 1.0. She's running beautifully, I'm not going to screw with it. Um, all the parts are there, they actually give you some extra screws, there's a lot of extra screws. I actually ended up with an extra um, stop switch. Uh, they do list it on the website. They list it on the website as uh, auto leveling. It's programmed for auto leveling. If you buy the auto leveling hardware, it's basically just a little rubber sensor, I guess. Um, the motherboard is pre programmed for it. All you got to do is run it, plug it in, but it's extra money. I think it was 30 bucks. I didn't bother with it. I don't mind the manual leveling. I almost find it faster and easier, or I started to. We'll get into that later, too. Uh, the downside, pretty much. All their pre-printed plastic parts, had this about two weeks, start cracking. 
they are way under structurally printed as you can see here and I'll, I'll post a picture with this um, they're probably 20% infill of that and that's not even the big issue the big issue is this the walls are way too thin the good thing is is almost all of them are printed parts so you can print them all I kind of basically took the basic design they have made it a little wider and a little bit longer so there's more room around the bolt here and I printed them solid everything I'm printing is solid that I'm using um, the only parts I might not print solid are, are something that moves because you don't want the weight um, this was a biggie right here that's printing right now and it's actually the carriage this carriage's um, movement belt holder whatever the Y carriage holder movement controller whatever and uh, at first I didn't want to over tighten it so I under tightened it I guess and it started rattling around so I tightened it up a little bit more and as I was tightening it it split so there's no easy in between with it um, the plastics too wimpy for anything structural that takes any tension and put it on you know measuring it up I'm actually gonna put them online I've altered them enough so if they do have any kind of patents on them which I highly doubt they do um, I've altered them all enough so I don't have to worry about that um, I'll put my, I'll put a link on and I'll put all the parts I'm designing for this printer to modify um, including these little gizmos which are really cool um, it does come with lead screws over threaded rod which is nice um, the motors all seem to work well the other really big issue is there's an assembly of this head now they pre-assemble some of it for you but the actual assembly for this head you have to bolt the the uh, stepper motor to the extruder to the heat sink to the fan and there's a little spacer between the heat sink and the fan and they didn't cut that long enough so when I screwed that big long 45 millimeter bolt actually through it actually hit my motor screws body screw now I'm tightening it up I feel a little resistance I give it another half a turn it stripped out these two screws they popped right out so I call them up they're like blah 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 everything's great yeah that can't be and I showed them pictures and they're like okay well if there's really anything wrong we'll send you a new motor that was the last I heard of them um, I sent them multiple emails within the last week and a half and not gotten a single response so if it's just a question that they can answer they respond quickly if you actually need replacement parts because they screwed up now I shouldn't be getting a new stepper motor I actually have this holding right now I put it together I put a clamp on that screw and this screw and I use crazy glue to cool them in because otherwise they'd bite but they wouldn't I couldn't tighten them so I tighten them up I put them in you know I put a drop of crazy screw glue on the threads tighten them up as much as I could and clamped them and tighten them up a little bit more and left it overnight and they seem to be holding um, the actual extruder head cracked that was like after a week or two the actual lever here um, I was getting all kinds of creaky noises come to find out it wasn't keeping enough tension on the filament because the actual printed um, arm that pinches the roller up against the, the uh, gear to hold the filament it cracked on the pivot point um, it cracked not only on the pivot point it also cracked on the bolt that holds the whole thing to the whole structure so the whole thing was wobbling around and it was putting no tension on the filament so uh, I ordered an aluminum one I had to modify that a lot to make it fit correctly um, mostly because of the way this fan structure I had to cut the levers off and stuff but it's working pretty well um, again you can buy other ones you can buy the plastic one that's almost a perfect replacement that's a, a you know a molded one not a printed one I don't know why they used a printed one and then not print it solid or at least structurally sound I mean the, the sidewalls on the thing are just ridiculously thin anyway um, they're all replaceable parts they're sort of easy replaceable parts but on a brand new machine this thing's only two weeks old and I'm already having to replace stuff left and right a um, little disappointing there a lot disappointing there actually um, one of the bearings has gone bad already again it wasn't really bad it was it was still working it was just very loud I had to replace it um, they're cheap it's a cheap kit okay um, the problem is is 
now I'm noticing not only is this thing that the actual controller that holds the belt here cracking, all the bearing um, housings that they, they pre installed the bearing in the housing, I didn't even do it, are all cracking on the clamp and they're all cracking where they're mounting to the table. I'm ordering, a, I just ordered aluminum ones. I'm just going to replace them with aluminum ones. If I have to drill new holes and refit everything, so be it. Um, I'm not playing with their, 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 their just, I gave up. Um, the frame itself, once it's assembled, is really strong. I'm glad I went with the aluminum frame like this. Um, everything works pretty well when it's working. Uh, you know, all the controls and everything, the software, the, the LCD, the motherboard, the power supply, everything's working well. Um, fans are all working. It prints better than I thought, actually. Uh, so, you know, but that's kind of controls and everything, and it is brand new. Um, all in all, it comes with a heated plate, which is nice. You know, LCD screen, that's nice. You know, a lot of them under $300 don't come with that. A lot of them don't have the aluminum frame. They're usually, you know, and this one isn't all. There's a lot of this uh, plastic. Uh, now I can't think of the name of the plastic, but the plastic sheet. Um, a lot of them come with the whole frame that way, and there's some complaints about it warping, especially when you start using a heated bed and temperature changes and all that, where the aluminum's a little more stable. Um, I just wish some of these plates and everything were aluminum also. This one, not so much a big worry. These motor ones are. Um, the other big key thing that I'm kind of disappointed in and I'll is the Y motor support, which is right here, and I believe I'm getting this in the shot. This support right here. And to be honest, I'm surprised it hasn't cracked if it's printed like all the rest of them. It's, it's just a little bracket here and two screws and then the bracket to the thing. And there's a little corner here and that's all that's holding the whole thing and it twists very easily that's something I'll probably redesign one and make it so it can go up and over the whole body of the the actual motor or something to hold it a little tighter I'm surprised that it actually hasn't broken here where everything else is broken I would figure with the tension on it that would be one of the first things to break but thankfully it hasn't yet um, all in all I would love to give this thing because it prints really really well I would love I would love to give this thing, you know, a four or five star rating. I just can't. Um, there's enough of these plastic printed parts that, yeah, they're printed, but they did such a lousy job printing them that I just can't justify it. I mean, it's, I want to give it a good rating. It, it works well when it's working, but having things like this thing fail, and I mean, there's, there's really no pressure on that. These aren't even that tight. You just lock them into place. They're, they're not taking any... They're just keeping it aligned. They're, there's no pressure on them. There's nothing trying to move them once they're in place. So it's not like I'm over tightening them. I'm not cranking them down. Um, you know, and it, it just, I really want to give it a better rating. I just can't. Um, it, it's probably a two and a half or a three star, if that out of five, just because of all the failures I've had in, in the first two weeks. And, uh, you know, the price is a little higher than, than the acrylic ones. That's the word I was looking for earlier, acrylic. Uh, the acrylic ones. Um, it's definitely stronger. I like the aluminum frame. There are other aluminum extruded framed ones that are probably a little better. They're also a little more expensive or a lot more expensive. I think this is the cheapest one you can get. I think it's the only one under $300 with the aluminum structure. And that is definitely a big bonus. I mean, I literally pick this thing up like this is a handle and move it around. And I've deliberately, you know, not dropped it or anything, but I've deliberately tried to stress it out a little bit to see if it would shift or move. or, And it doesn't. It stays all nice and square. Um, you will need a square to build it. Uh, you will need some time. I'm pretty mechanically inclined, I'll say. Uh, electronically not so much but believe it or not it took me longer mechanically to build it. it took me almost two days to build it and like four hours to wire it all in which it should have been the other way around for me um, I'm very easy with mechanics and very clueless when it comes to the electronics and the electronics was probably the easiest part of it they, they display their wiring set up very nicely 
Um, you do have to figure a few things out, but in general, it works pretty well. Um, all in all, it works. If you buy it, plan on you know printing out some new parts. Plan on modifying it. I did know that I was buying a dirt cheap unit. Um, I spent a little extra for the aluminum frame, knowing I wanted the structure not to have to replace. I knew I'd be upgrading, changing stuff rather quickly, uh, but I wanted to do it my way. Unfortunately, the stuff I'm upgrading was stuff I was hoping I wouldn't have to upgrade, like basic mounts. Um, so I can't, I just can't justify a high rating. Um, you know, things like bearings and stuff, I was, I, I was planning on replacing some of the cheap bearings. I knew they were cheap bearings. I actually expected really cheap screws or threaded rods. These are actually pretty nice. Um, the motor seemed pretty nice. I, I, I want to give it a better rating. I just can't. It, it's it, There's too much failure um, and lack of response the minute I needed actual parts replacement. Their, their question answering was incredibly fast. Their parts replacing, they just went away. They just stopped responding. And that's just a killer to me. I mean, I, I was getting ready to give them an unreal service rating of like six out of five <laughs> until they wouldn't respond. You know, I need a new motor and I need a new extruder. And actually the, the fillers, there's little spacers in there. Those need to be replaced. Um, I fix them by just putting a washer in there. It works. But, you know, it shouldn't happen. I shouldn't be pushing screws out of it. So all in all, um, the printer works, plan on repairing it, plan on upgrading it. You can print straight out of the box. It will print right away. Um, just know that you're gonna start having failures rather quickly. I haven't printed all that much out of it yet. And I've gotten more issues than I have prints. When it prints, it prints beautifully. Um, just know you gotta, you're gonna have to replace some of the printed parts. Some of these printed parts are terrible. They either got to change the way they print them, give them a more solid feel, or they got to just replace them with aluminum or you're going to have to replace them. But anyway, other than that, um, have a good day. It's a pretty good printer. It does work. <coughs> Excuse me. It does work. Um, feeds well, heats well, prints well. Electronics all work. It's the most important part to me. Um, not a bad printer. Far from a good printer. Um...